Welcome to the Player Supreme Show at ZenMac.com, Z-E-N-M-A-C-K.com. I am your host, Player Supreme, and this is a very special podcast show that I'm doing, 25 Ways You Can Increase Your Self-Esteem and Confidence. So without further ado, let me begin with the first technique to boost your confidence and self-esteem. The first one you can do is to love yourself. Now this takes a bit of practice and it looks kind of funny, but try it. It'll work for you. When you wake up, give yourself a big hug and do the same thing when it's time for you to go to bed at night. Now some of you may have heard this uh, before, but how you expect others to love you is the way you love yourself. So how can you expect others to love you if you don't love yourself? So practice the morning and evening hugs for about two weeks, or maybe three weeks, if you're kind of like me, uh, old-fashioned, stubborn, and uh, hard to get. And you'll see that it works really well in your lives. Now the second technique, look in the mirror. So every time you pass a mirror, look into it and flash your biggest and your best smile at yourself. It might feel kind of strange at first, but eventually it'll make you feel brilliant about yourself. And tell yourself, looking good. Or, wow, I love me. Or any other similar phrase that expresses your own self-esteem in a positive light. Do this often enough to entrench it inside your subconscious mind. Do that and it will become reflected on the outside in your outer life. So you now have two techniques. Love yourself and look in the mirror. And then adding more to loving yourself, if you've read the book The Pimp Game by Mickey Royale, I'm always using the phrase from that book. All whom I do not see when I stand alone in front of a mirror are beneath me. So basically, you want to hold yourself in high self-esteem is what he's saying there. But the third thing, do things that make you feel good. And that could be anything from listening to music, uh, taking hikes, doing volunteer work, or even just taking a bath. Anything that gives you a positive feeling about yourself will increase your self-confidence and your, your self-esteem because you're, you're taking yourself into a positive energy. The more positive energy you have that you bring into your life, the more of that will come on the outside. Now the fourth thing. Listen to you. Nobody knows you better than you know yourself. No matter how many times or how many people try to tell you differently, Nobody knows you better than you know yourself. So if your body, if your mind, or your gut is telling you something, I want you to take notice of it. And don't worry about what other people may possibly have to say about it. Listen to you. Learn to develop that inner intuition that comes from inside. And once you begin to do that, you'll take confidence in the feelings of what your body is trying to tell you. The fifth thing, talk to you. Yeah, not like you're crazy or something like that, but in times of stress, take a time out break. Wander in your own mind and have a conversation with yourself about anything. Tell yourself how lucky you are. Tell yourself how how lucky you are to be you. And praise yourself for every good and positive thing that you can attribute to yourself. Remember, the way it is on the inside is the way it is on the outside. Your outer world is merely a microcosm of what's going on inside. Too often we've dumped a lot of garbage and false beliefs into our subconscious mind, thereby it causes our outer world to shift focus and change to become like those beliefs. So sixth thing is to remove negatives. If anything feels like it's dragging you down, 
get rid of it. If it's clutter, tidy up. If it's a friend full of negativity, explain nicely that you don't really feel up to talking to them right now. If you have people in your lives constantly dumping negative thoughts and words at you, explain to them that you don't have time to listen right now and remove yourself from that negative environment. Always seek to be in positive and motivating environments. That's why I enjoyed Toastmasters. I urge everyone listening to me to join Toastmasters in their local area. You can go to ToastmastersInternational.com or just Google it. And you can find a, a class or a setting right around the corner from you. There are so many out there. And there's such a positive environment because it's very supportive. So go for environments like that where you're positively supported. Which brings me to my seventh tip. Surround with positives. Surround yourself with things that bring out good feelings in you. Examples could be things such as uh, a happy, upbeat friend versus that negative person. Uh, a, a nice new picture. A new car. Uh, it could be pictures of your family, of your girlfriend, or pictures of a girl that you want to go out with. It doesn't matter, but surround yourself with positive things. Uh, use candles if you have to. I used to love having scented candles in, in my home, and I always would light them on my Tuesdays. As you guys recall, I would spend Tuesdays alone with all the girls I was dating. I would push them to the side and, and try to spend my Tuesday nights alone, and I would do things I enjoyed doing, such as watching Japanese animation cartoons and stuff like that, or I would go rent movies, and I would just have a night with myself. And that's one of the things I really enjoyed, so it gave me a positive things to be surrounded by. The eighth thing is called rumors die. Did you ever hear something about somebody who said something about somebody else? Drop that stuff. Rumors are nasty. They're Things that can only bring you down. When you get involved in that kind of negativity, you bring yourself down. The best way to kill a rumor is ignore it. The ninth thing, which is a, was a challenge for me in my life, which was total honesty. I'm referring to total honesty with women out there. Uh, it was hard for me to be honest with them. But I want you guys to be totally honest with yourselves at all times. If there's something you don't like, admit it. If there's something you don't want to do right now, and it isn't necessary for health and safety reasons, then just don't do it until you feel like it. My mother used to say, the only thing you have to do is die and pay your taxes. <laughs> 